Today, we're diving into the world of tech leaks and rumors to talk about something that's got the internet buzzing. Samsung's upcoming One UI 7.0. Word on the street is that Samsung is taking a page out of Apple's playbook and bringing some iconic iOS features to its own Android skin. Let's break it down. First up, let's talk about the dynamic island. You know, that little pill-shaped cutout on the iPhone that's become a signature design element? Well, it seems Samsung is keen on getting in on the action. Reports suggest that One UI 7.0 will feature a Samsung version of the dynamic island. Now, we don't know exactly what this will look like, but we can imagine it offering similar functionality. Imagine having quick access to timers, music controls, and even payment interactions right there at the top of your screen. Next up, live activities. This is a feature that allows apps to display real-time updates directly on your lock screen. Think about it, a sports app showing live scores, a food delivery app tracking your order, or even a ride-sharing app showing your driver's location. It's a game changer, and it looks like Samsung wants a piece of the pie. One UI 7.0 is rumored to bring its own take on live activities, potentially giving you a more dynamic and informative lock screen experience. But it's not just about copying Apple. There's more to One UI 7.0 than just these two features. We're also hearing about a potential design overhaul with more colorful icons, smoother animations, and even a decluttered home screen. It sounds like Samsung is aiming for a fresh and modern look for its software. Now, the big question is, is this a good thing? On one hand, it's great to see Samsung responding to user feedback and incorporating popular features. But on the other hand, some might argue that they're simply copying Apple. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. Personally, I'm cautiously optimistic. If Samsung can execute these features well and add its own unique spin, it could be a win-win for users. But it's essential to remember that these are just rumors at this point. We'll have to wait for the official announcement and the beta program to get clearer picture of what One UI 7.0 will actually bring to the table. So there you have it. Samsung's One UI 7.0 is shaping up to be an exciting update with the potential to bring some much loved iOS features to the Android world. We'll be keeping a close eye on developments, so stay tuned for more news and updates. What are your thoughts on these rumored features? Are you excited about the possibility of a dynamic island and live activities on Samsung devices? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more tech news and reviews. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Today, we are diving into the latest buzz surrounding the upcoming Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. Buckle up, because this phone is shaping up to be a true game changer in the world of smartphones. Let's get into the juicy details. First off, Samsung seems laser focused on making the S25 Ultra the king of smartphones in 2025. The company appears to be using a two-pronged attack to achieve this, a monstrous camera system and mind-blowing performance upgrades. Let's start with the camera. The Galaxy S25 Ultra is expected to stick with its familiar quad camera setup, but with some serious enhancements. The main sensor will likely boast a hopping 200 megapixels, matching the S24 Ultra but optimized for the S25 Ultra's specific hardware thanks to the new Snapdragon Agent 4 camera ISP. But that's not all. We're also looking at a 5x optical zoom lens with a 50 megapixel sensor, a brand new 3x optical zoom lens, also with a 50 megapixel sensor, and an ultra wide angle lens getting a bump to 50 megapixels as well. These upgrades, particularly for the 3x zoom and ultra wide sensors, are long overdue and promise to significantly elevate mobile photography. Now let's talk about performance. One of the most exciting rumors is the reintroduction of a fan favorite feature, a 16 gigabytes RAM option. And not just any RAM, but the industry-first LPDDR5X RAM, capable of speeds up to a staggering 10.7 GEPs. This translates to unparalleled performance for on-device AI, demanding tasks like cloud gaming, and much more. When you combine this insane RAM with the power of the Snapdragon Agent 4 processor, the S25 Ultra has the potential to be the absolute performance leader in the smartphone world. Speaking of the Agent 4, another reliable leak suggests it'll house the most powerful GPU ever seen in a smartphone. Benchmarks show prototypes running Genshin Impact at a smooth 1080 resolution and 60 FPS. A dream for mobile gamers. Currently, this popular game is capped at 720 on most phones and maintaining a consistent 60 FPS is a struggle. Of course, with great power comes a potentially higher price tag. Rumors suggest this Snapdragon Agent 4 chip could inflate the price of the entire S25 series compared to its predecessor. Qualcomm has reportedly increased the cost of the Agent 4 significantly compared to the Agent 3. This leaves Samsung with a tough choice. 
raise prices across the board, or potentially use the Exynos 2500 processor for the S25 and S25 Plus, reserving the mighty Agent 4 exclusively for the S25 Ultra. The Agent 4 itself is a whole new beast, built from the ground up using Qualcomm's Super Orion cores previously seen in their laptops. This chip has the potential to give the Galaxy S25 Ultra performance that rivals some Apple M-series laptops. But wait, there's more. We also have hot rumors about the Galaxy S25 Ultra being equipped with the next generation of storage, UFS 4.1. Universal Flash Storage, or UFS, determines how fast your phone can access and store data. The latest and greatest version is UFS 4.0, which powers many current flagships, including the Galaxy S24. But the future is calling and whispers suggest the Galaxy S25 Ultra might be the first to sport UFS 4.1. While UFS 5.0 is expected around 2027, UFS 4.1 steps in as a minor yet significant upgrade. It's not a mind-blowing jump in raw numbers, but it's targeted to enhance specific areas like on-device AI features. Faster read and write speeds with UFS 4.1 will allow the phone to access data needed by AI algorithms much quicker translating to smoother performance for features like scene optimization in your camera app, real-time language translation, and other background AI functions. So, what does this all mean? The Galaxy S25 Ultra, if equipped with UFS 4.1, is shaping up to be a powerhouse for AI enthusiasts. Faster data access, improved multitasking, and potential battery life improvements. That's a recipe for a future-proof phone ready to tackle demanding tasks. Of course, this is all based on rumors for now, but one thing's for sure, the future of smartphones looks increasingly intertwined with the power of AI, and the Galaxy S25 Ultra, with its potential UFS 4.1 upgrade, might just be at the forefront of that exciting evolution. So there you have it! What are your thoughts on the upcoming S25 Ultra? Are the camera upgrades exciting you? Can't wait for the return of 16GB RAM? Or is the potential power of the Snapdragon Agent 4 blowing your mind? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in! I will see you in the next one, guys. Until then, goodbye.